I want to be the very best, or at the very least adequate. This Nuzlocke is my real test, so I'll try hard not to quit. Oh, hi, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining me. I'm Coco Papa, and we're starting our journey into the world of Pokemon. I uh, really appreciate you being here even though I'm wiggling my microphone a lot as I'm trying to get set up. Uh, the goal is going to be to run about 10 minute episodes. Uh, they'll be coming out maybe once or twice a week. We'll see how much time I get to edit. Uh, we're gonna get started. I'm excited. Hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. Do they? Do they call you that? Is that just a nickname you gave yourself? This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. All caps for some reason. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? I'm um, the dude with the cool fucking hat. That's what my name is. Oh, it's not gonna fit. Uh... We are now Coco Pop. It's as close as I can get, unfortunately. Ah, oh, well. Right! So your name is Coco Pop. This douche. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Um, what is his name again? Uh, but Professor Oak has to go to the home. It's time. Oh. I mean. An oldie but goodie. Oh, I can't do dick nose? Sadness. This is censorship. Um. If you're not making fun of your rival, you're not playing Pokemon, right? There we go. That's right. I remember now. His name is Dum Dum. you damn right it is. Coco Pop. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Oh shit, I'm so tiny. Uh, that is definitely a Super Nintendo controller, and I'm here for it. Uh, later Pokemon games would always change that um, to whatever the current console is. So I think like by the time you got to Diamond and Pearl, you had like a Wii sitting in your room. Really fun stuff. Anyway. Always get that clutch potion. You're going to need it, especially in a Nuzlocke. <laughs> All right. Love the music. This is mom. She's got my back. I... Should I do a girl voice? Uh, hello YouTube. Editing Coco Papa here. What follows is an embarrassing attempt at softening my voice. It is not a girl voice by any stretch of the imagination. So, um, please have mercy. Thank you. All boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. That's where her parenting advice comes from. Television. Love it. Great start. Professor Oak next door is looking for you. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to talk to her again. Mom, I feel like we're just going in circles now. There we go. As everyone knows, uh, we've got Pallet Town here. Represent the OG. Uh, I could try and find people, but there's no one here. I gotta go in the grass and get yelled at. Hey, wait! Don't go out! This is the part where he offers me my first sword in a cave, because it's too dangerous to go alone. It's unsafe! See, I just said... Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. Take note, gun lobbyists. We don't need more firearms. We need real life Pokemon. I know. Here, come with me. Look at all these nerds having jobs. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. 
Dum Dum? <laughs> I love this choice already. Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Coco Pop. There are three Pokemon here. Ha ha! They are inside of the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I have only three left, but you can have one. Choose. Hey, Gramps, what about me? Be patient, Dum Dum. You can have one too. All right, so I've thought about this. Um, originally, uh, when I first played the game ever, I took Bulbasaur because I had a, uh, a player guide that told me that Bulbasaur was the easiest to start with. The big bulbous eyes on him. Uh, later, uh, when I played the game, I preferred Squirtle. Um, there aren't a lot of great water types to choose from in Gen 1. Uh, and Blastoise is just kind of broken for a lot of reasons. Um, so originally I was thinking, you know, let's go Bulbasaur again for the nostalgia, or uh, let's go Squirtle for uh, the gains, but honestly, I think I'm going to play fucking hard mode, uh, and we're going to go with Charmander. So you want the fire Pokemon, Charmander. I don't know what accent I'm giving him, but yes. This Pokemon is really energetic. Hell yeah. All my Pokemon names are going to be in capital letters. Also, I think it's a travesty that they get 10 characters and I only get like 7. That's whack, but whatever. So our first named comrade is Jalapeno. I'll take this one, then. Alright, I'm out. Fuck! Wait, Coco Pop. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Oh shit, I'm blacking out. Dum Dum wants to fight. It's his funeral. Yeah, I just... So the one thing you're going to notice if you're familiar with uh, the Pokemon franchise but perhaps aren't familiar with uh, Gen 1 in specific is that some of the sprites look like how you remember, but a lot of the sprites don't. Um, so obviously this isn't what Squirtle looks like in the uh, anime or in later ver uh, versions. His eyes are much bigger. Um, his tail is a little... Uh, it, it, it's not as quite as pronounced like this. Uh, the games came out uh, before the tie-in anime, and then designs changed to mirror the anime. So, if you're a little confused, that's just going to keep happening. Um, I could be inflicting status effects here, but for me, if I growl, it's just going to make him hit me less, which isn't going to win the fight any faster. Uh, and if you were dealing a ton of damage, I would maybe scale on his attack, but honestly... I just spam my attack and hope that the fight ends, so. And it did. I'm a genius. First fight in the bag, boys. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Getting them gains. What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon! I mean, I wish you had picked Bulbasaur. That would have been dope. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. That's just how life works. Yeah, if ever you want to toughen up, just go get your ass kicked a while. Coco Pop, Gramps, smell you later. Please don't sniff me. Go away. Don't. What up? What are we doing? Raise your young Pokemon by making it fight. What is everyone... Is there a non-violent solution? Can we just go to the gym? Can we practice non-combative martial arts? Fully heal, don't gotta stop by mom. So this is honestly the most terrifying part of the run for me. I'm going to be like most skittish just the short trek up to Viridian City because if I lose my starter, the run is over. So I could be running from fights, but let's see if we can get some experience. So again, you notice that the model is just kind of whack. 
I still love it. It seems like Rattata's always shouting at me. What's he shouting about? I don't know. These crits, man. There we go. And we're walking. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Uh, we're going to be adding a, uh, a curse counter uh, for every time. I think it's a cuss counter because I couldn't fit cursing or swearing on my little uh, thing here. Uh, so we'll be keeping track of the squad on the left. Uh, we'll be tracking how many times I curse on the right. We'll also be tracking my mood on the right and how many badges I got in the lower left. You're all seeing this. I'm just talking while looking at the game screen. So let's start by getting my health up. All right. Looking good, looking good. The music I'm going to try and keep down a little bit so it doesn't clash with my voice, but I will be taking time to just be quiet so you can hear the music. Uh, it's good. Uh, and in order to get the game going, we got to start our first, first uh, delivery quest. Pop it in the mart. They're going to give me the quest to go back to Pallet Town because it ain't a journey if you don't do it twice. And yeah, I think we'll cut the first episode here. Thank you for joining me on the start of a very long series. I don't have an outro yet. I'll keep thinking of one. See you soon. <laughs>